that should be flashing on your screen. Remember to tell us your name, the stock that you want to know about and whether you've bought it or not. Also, how long you intend to hold it for. Is it a short-term view that you're seeking or a long-term one? The first question is coming in from Anoop and he's writing in from Goa. He's uh, bought Brightcom Group shares and I'm hoping, Rajesh, that you have a view on this. He's bought at levels of uh, 84, but it's been terribly volatile of late. In fact, if you can pull up the intraday chart of Brightcom Group, you'll see that it's hitting upper circuit today. It has hit lower circuits in the recent past as well. What should he do with this? Alex, as far as I remember, uh, sometime back when we were, I was in discussion with you, I very clearly said these kind of stocks would be clearly avoided by at least retail investors. The uh, fundamentals are not that good. Corporate governance is an issue, and the kind of volatility it shows sometimes lower circuits, sometimes upper circuits. It's better to stay away from these kind of stocks. The moment you get an opportunity to get out, please sell. Uh, let's move on to this next query that we've got. It's from Mr. Uh, K.R. Balan, and uh, he's actually asking about uh, the counter is Anant Raj Industries. He's saying that he's bought about 1,000 shares of Anant Raj Industries at a level of 61 rupees per share. He wants to know whether he should continue to hold on to it or switch to Prague, uh, uh, Praj Industries or any other suggestions. What's your take on this one, Kunal? What should he do, stay with Anant Raj or go to Praj or any other ca uh, counters for the matter? Well, yeah, I think Praj is a fantastic stock. I think it's done exceptionally well. Last four years or so, the stock, which was at 70, 75 rupees odd, uh, you know, had, had moved up to, you know, 400, 500 plus as well. So it's done exceptionally well. So undoubtedly, uh, uh, you know, I would believe uh, that Praj Industries is a much better bet. But I think this is a time where I frankly believe that it's much better and much uh, prudent to look at large cap names because when you look at the relative correction into these large cap stocks, you've gone through a 25-30% correction on an average for many of these large cap names. So I think a better position portfolio should be to try and take advantage many large cap stocks. You know, some of the names, for example, Maruti at current levels of 7,300-400 looks attractive. Bajaj Auto is something which is very attractive. Kotak Bank, something which I've been highlighting since last few days, is also at an uh, attractive play from a medium to long term play. Speaking of large caps, Kunal, uh, Reliance Industries, uh, the question is coming in from uh, the Professor Thomas George. He's writing in from Ernakulam in Kerala. And he's asking whether it's a good buy at the current price. It's under pressure today as well. It's lost significant amount of gr ground post its earnings. What should you do? Really, I believe uh, it's a good buy at current zone, 2,500. So we were discussing this chart yesterday as well, that how 2,500, 2,550 is a band of support for Reliance Industries. And there could always be a possibility that when the stock nears this, uh, uh, you know, support band. Uh, the the demand or the uh, you know supports will probably rise up for uh, you know the stock price. So the fall may get arrested. You might see those occasional bounces. Uh, you know, taking up for Reliance industry. So purely as a risk reward play, and given the fact that the stock was uh, uh, you know at, at just about few weeks back at a fresh life high for itself, it's a good uh, uh, you know price level to enter Reliance at current zone. This one is from Padma and she's written to us from UAE and she's saying that she has Trent as well as SBI Insurance, SBI Life and uh, is making about 5 to 10 percent profit. So she wants to know whether she should continue to hold on to them or look to switch to any other large cap for the uh, medium to the, for, for the short to medium term. Rajesh, I'll come to you with this query. What should Padma do with her holding? She has Trent, has SBI Life making profits. Should she, uh, should she uh, stay put with those or look at some other names altogether? See, if time is not a concern, I would say both are very good stocks continue. Because in the very short term, as we have seen, volatility is very high. You never know when your profits turn into losses. But if you have a longer term prior time horizon for at least six to nine months, both are very good hold. Not only a hold, if for some reasons there are corrections, one can even add to that. Uh, Kunal, I'm coming back to you. We've discussed this uh, just uh, a couple of minutes, not a couple of minutes, but earlier in the show. Uh, we're talking about IT stocks, right? Um, we've got a viewer who uh, is asking about the next two to three years, though. He's already holding TCS and Infosys, but he's asking what else can he buy at this current price? Vivek is asking this. So, uh, you know, uh, I'll probably, uh, you know, go back to its 2008-9. There was a very similar kind of a price action move for IT index, where in a matter of one year from the 2009 uh, lows, uh, you know, the IT index had managed to give returns of almost 2, 2.5 or X 
in a span of the next one year post the lows which was created in 2009 from there the indices remained into a, a sideways zone for almost i think uh, seven quarters or eight quarters on a trot uh, that's almost one and a half to two years for the it index and post that we've seen that the index had given returns of you know another 3x to 4x in the span of the next four to five years so my my sense is that the it index chart even for the next four to five years should actually behave in a very similar kind of a fashion uh, i think it's good time with that you start allocating a lot of money stick to large cap names initially and then look to add on towards quality mid cap stocks in that category that could be a much better strategy and position yourself for the next at least three to five years if not more Right. Uh, this one is coming from Manoj, and he has a query on Borosil Renewable. He wants a target for six to nine months, if uh, and that is if he looks to enter right now. Kunal, firstly, should Manoj look to enter uh, Borosil Renewables at this current level, and if so, what sort of target should he keep in mind? I think it's an excellent stock on the mid cap category. Now, even though we don't talk of this stock that often, but uh, you know the the chart patterns over the last. i think one and a half to two years have improved significantly for the stock the trends have been more stable uh, you know for borosil renewables the stock has not gone into a very sharp bout of correction uh, you know, and it manages to hold above its 200 dema uh, you know consistently even in this last one and a half to two years of uh, market rally and then you know in, in intermittent corrections in between so uh, purely in that sense i would suggest that you can look to buy as well as uh, you know hold on to the stock from a medium to long term play okay um we've got a senior citizen subrata ghosh who's uh, tuning in from delhi uh, says that uh, he, uh, subrata is very fond of kunal watching him for so many days and uh, says please smile more so this is my communication to you kunal uh, but uh, subrata wants to know about jain irrigation holding 25000 shares which was bought at levels of 30 i'm going to come to you rajesh on the fundamentals the stock is currently trading above the buy price what would you recommend that subrata should do So one, the quantity is very huge. Two, the company fundamentals are not that great, although it, they have improved in the recent past. But if you look at the uh, uh, past, uh, the debt levels were very high. There were issues of corporate governance. Better to switch to some better names, as Kunal suggested. Large caps are giving a better opportunity at this point of time. And I would say, why not switch to uh, UPL? Which is again uh, in the similar kind of sector, agriculture. So that would be giving you a stable kind of return. Right. This one is from Shrikar Reddy, and he wants to know whether it's right time to buy Zenza Tech and New Gen uh, for the longer term. He's asking this because he already has Infosys in his portfolio. So he wants to add these uh, two more IT uh, counters in his portfolio. Rajesh, makes sense. See, it makes sense for a longer period of time, but I would still uh, stick to my views of uh, sticking to large cap names like Infosys or a Tech Mahindra, both having uh, very good prospects, especially Tech Mahindra because of valuation and uh, the launch of 5G uh, going ahead. So these two stocks are on my uh, buying list. In mid cap, if you want to have, you can have a look at Intellect Design Arena. I'm coming back to you on Indus Tower. Uh, this is a question coming in from uh, uh, Krishnan. He's writing in from Trivandrum. Uh, he's asking whether this is a good buy and what uh, time duration would you look at? He's okay with both short term as well as long term. Kunal, this is for you. Kunal, this one's for you. Oh, okay, in the star, right? In in the star, yes. Uh, you know, I think if I remember, uh, you know, yesterday was the stock was one of the top gainers uh, in terms of price performance, but Frankly, when you when I look at the charts over the last two years, three years, it's not done uh, you know uh, uh, anything great or substantial in terms of returns. You know there have been intermittent rallies for the stock prices, but it's been met fiercely with uh, you know very sharp phases of correction. Now that's not the kind of quality of stocks which you want to hold on to it from a longer term play. You would want to have these stocks get into a structural kind of a rally rather than those intermittent rallies which which tend to fizzle out. So I would suggest that you can, if you can avoid these kind of names, it'll be a, you know, it'll be you know far better. If you're looking out for buying, you know, stocks from the telecom space as such, then I believe Bharti Airtel or Reliance Industries in that aspect could actually turn out to be much better place. 
Uh, this one is for you, Rajesh. A bit longish question coming in from Santi on Shoba holding about 150 shares at a level of around 700 rupees per share, saying that the realty stocks is under pressure due to input, input or cost increase as most building material costs have increased and market is actually sensing that there will be some time where there will be some sort of a halt or a slowdown in the construction activities uh, till the input prices get stable. So wants to know whether should... Uh, continue to hold on to soba and look to add some more at current market price or uh, should uh, try something else altogether in the realty space see the cf said right that input costs have gone up and not only input costs with increasing interest rate uh, even though looking for housing finance for buying a house would uh, think twice so that again is an issue in the short to medium term but as soba is in a different kind of space in a different kind of leaf in especially into reality space, I think it's a good stock to hold. But adding at this point of time is not recommended as because we feel that there's some more, more amount of correction is due. In uh, reality, if somebody wants to uh, enter, Century Textile would be an indirect play in a, um, a reality space because their subsidiary Builder Streets is doing very well in reality. Um, interesting question coming in from uh, Poonam. Uh, Poonam is writing in uh, asking about campus active wear of which she got allocation of. She's holding 51 shares uh, and the stock has done quite well on listing. In fact, it gained quite significantly. Uh, I will take this question to you, Rajesh, obviously because Kunal has uh, not enough data to uh, tell Poonam what to do. But she's asking whether she should exit at listing uh, or right now. Uh, what would you say based on the fundamentals? See, fundamentals are strong, no doubt. Uh, numbers are good. Uh, there are some concerns on valuation part, but again, the brand is very good. And this uh, can be very well uh, seen when, despite the market condition, we had a good listing yesterday. If you have a time horizon of 9 to 12 months, I will say stick to the stock. If you have a short term horizon, then it would be better to book profit. Depending on your time horizon, you have to take a call. For a longer term horizon, we are bullish on this. This one is a general question coming in from Neha and she wants to know whether it is the right time to look to uh, average or buy fresh uh, stocks. Uh, she wants a uh, suggestion with stocks that she can look to invest in or sectors for a period of three to six months, Kunal. Well, three to six months could be a bit tricky because there, there's a lot happening across the globe. We would need first, uh, you know, that the global markets get into a stable mode. Uh, that's at least not happening in the last, uh, you know, few weeks five, six straight weeks of price correction for many global indices. So for the next maybe couple of weeks, we can expect some bounce to play out, uh, you know, on the global indices. But then the next, uh, you know, three to six months could be a bit tricky in that sense. So you have to be very nimble footed. That's the first port of call. In terms of individual stocks, uh, I'll probably re retrade the ones which I just recommended, uh, you know, some time back. I think something like uh, Kotak Bank at current levels of 1750, 1770 looks very attractive to me on the charts in terms of risk reward. Maruti, I think at 7,400, 500, where it's trading also looks extremely uh, attractive. It's been more resilient uh, in terms of stock patterns. NTPC is another large cap team which you can probably look to add at current zone. Low beta stock, but has provided a big breakout on the longer term basis as well. So these are just very few names which you can look to add. Okay, um, we've got a question coming in, in um, on water base. This is from uh, Murari. I'm just pulling up the share price as we speak. Uh, it's currently trading at 86 or thereabouts. He's bought at levels of 142. Uh, this is uh, Murari from Ghaziabad. Uh, on the fundamentals, I know that this uh, counter is talked about with uh, a lot of interest uh, for the long term, right? Uh, what would you say, Rajesh, based on the valuations right now, and based on the fundamentals, should he hold on? Yes, of course, because the uh, at this price, it's it's a hold. At 142, it was rather uh, on a higher side, but at this price, it's a hold. Numbers have been good. And the company is basically into aquaculture and all. Uh, most of their revenue comes from exports, and with rupee depreciating, I think that's a uh, positive factor for, for this company. Uh, from uh, the current market price, we believe that 25-30% upside um, can is quite possible in the next two quarters, uh, provided the market improves. But still, the silver line stays. Uh, depreciating rupee is very positive for this company. 
Right, this one is coming from Sher Ali and he's, he has a query on CCD, that's Coffee Day. He's saying he has 2,500 shares of CCD that he's purchased at 80 rupees per share. He has a heavy loss. He's looking to hold for the next three months. Kunal, is it even advisable to stay put in this particular counter? Uh, I would advise that you can stick to it from a long-term play. If it's for the next two to three months, then I don't sense any major uh, you know, recovery coming by for the stock. Uh, indicators for uh, you know coffee day on the uh, in longer term charts are still in a positive territory even though the prices have retraced from the previous year highs or, or current year highs of 75 or 78 levels for itself so prices have retraced but the indicators are still positive that could probably hope uh, you know indicate that the price action may also reverse on the upside uh, pretty soon so short term wise a bit tricky but more on the longer term wise i think it's a good hold um, we've got a, a question coming in from uh, Denny. He's writing in from the UK, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's asking about Vodafone Idea. And uh, this stock is currently trading at just over 9. He's bought at levels of 8. And he's got 50,000 shares. Uh, Kunal, should he hold or should he exit at this point? Look to exit. I mean, if you're making 50,000 on a stock like Idea, Maybe you can make another maybe 10, 15,000 additionally if the stock gives you an intraday rally. But then I think that's the best which you can, uh, uh, you know, get in terms of these kind of names. I think this is the market where you have to start building portfolios uh, on a longer term play. If you can invest the same amount of capital in terms of value towards large cap names like maybe Bharti, Airtel or Lance Industries, that could actually turn out to be a good strategy and a good bet over a long term play pertinent point coming in from Kunal that this is a market and this is a time that you actually look to build in position in the longer term play. So that's a good advice coming in from Kunal for all of the investors out there. Uh, this one is from Shiva Bharat and he wants a view on Metropolis Healthcare for the longer term. Uh, Rajesh, what's your take on this one? In fact, we have given a, a buy call to our clients. Uh, the company has recent taken, uh, recently taken a smaller company from Bangalore, and that's going to add to the numbers. It's growing very well. Uh, the uh, post-COVID uh, 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 thing, uh, the uh, diagnostic business has gone down, but it's going to increase from these levels. I think it's a very good buy at these levels after a correction of almost 30-40% from its size. Uh, we've uh, hit the time when we have to start the rapid fire segment. Gentlemen, you know what this means. Uh, please do give us your answers as quickly as possible. Let's start with a question from Porus. This one's for you, Kunal. A Bharat Electricals at this current price for short term gains, would you suggest a fresh entry at this point? Absolutely. I think it's a good level where you can look to enter. I would press the buy. All right, this one is coming from Samir Jana and he wants to know the right level to enter Titan for the longer term. What's your take, Kunal? I think Titan could probably be a stock which can, I think, look to buy below the 2000 mark. The stock is still into a corrective phase and I believe that the correction should last for at least 5 to 7 percent. Uh, okay, the question is coming in from Prince Gupta and he's asking about Mahindra and Mahindra, Mahindra Finance. Uh, Rajesh, would you suggest a fresh entry? No, better names would be Bajaj Finserv or Bajaj Finance, although Bajaj, it, that's also good, but you get a better opportunity there. All right. Uh, what's your take on MTAR Tech, uh, uh, Rajesh? This one is coming from Archal and she's saying that she's bought this uh, at the IPO price. Uh, nevertheless, it's corrected uh, till about, to about 1400 from uh, 2600. What should she do over the longer term? Try to exit because... Uh, um, as I said, there are better opportunities in market. Go for bigger names like a Reliance or an ITC. Uh, Ruchi Soya, do you have a view? Gopinath from Mysuru is asking about this. Uh, Rajesh, what's the view if you're holding? Uh, if you're holding, try to exit or put a strict stop loss uh, uh, to the stock. Otherwise, for a new buy in the same sector, I would think Adani would, Wilma would be a better play. Right, this one is from Dasaradi and he's saying that he's bought Tata Steel Long products at uh, around 800 rupees per share, about 100 shares. Can he look to hold or should he look to average at these levels? What's your take, Kunal? It is to average at current Vedanta is the name of the counter, looking for a technical view, border levels of 406. This is uh, Vishal, he's looking to hold for two to three years. Kunal, should he hold? So I think if it's in cash, then I think uh, you know, the dividend advantage is what's probably got. I think at 348 levels, price-wise, good level where you can look to have. 
All right, and with that, we come to the end of the rapid fire as well as the query segment. Thank you so much, Kunal, as well as Rajesh, for joining us in the show, giving us a take on the IT sector as well as res resolving all the viewer queries. But for all the viewers who've actually tuned in and we could not answer your queries, don't be disheartened. We'll be back tomorrow and we'll make sure to take your queries then. So do tune in and write to us as well. But on that note, we slip into a break on this edition of Buy Now, Sell Now. Stay tuned. Lots more lined up on the other side. Don't go anywhere. देखो 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 नया टीवी देखो गॉट द वेजीज फ्रॉम छोटू शॉप ही गिव द राइट रेट यस बाबा डिसाइडेड 55 इंच टीवी ऑन दिस वॉल ओह सुपर आई राइट आउट द चेक टुमारो नो यू डोंट आई विल विथ माय ओन मनी ओह वाव हाउ कम लुक एट दिस एडवर्टिजमेंट 30 परसेंट अ शॉर्ट रिटर्न्स ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट आई एम आल्सो गोइंग टू इन्वेस्ट माय मनी सो वेजिटेबल्स ओनली फ्रॉम छोटू शॉप बट इन्वेस्टमेंट एडवाइस फ्रॉम एनीवन Papa, trusting a stranger's advice is never wise. But what about the TV? Soch kar, samaj kar, invest kar, invest kar. SEL Tiger TMT Rebar में ताकत बेमिसाल और इसका एडवांस्ड रिप टेक्नोलॉजी का के सीमेंट से बॉन्ड सालों साल इसे कहते हैं बॉन्ड टाइगर बॉन्ड इन दीवारों में टाइगर रहता है SEL Tiger TMT Rebar Prudent Corporate Advisory Services Limited an independent retail wealth management services group in India and among the top mutual fund distributors by average assets under management and commission received is now making a public issue of equity shares of five rupees each. The hundred percent book built offer being offered in a price band of five hundred and ninety-five to six hundred and thirty rupees opens on May tenth and closes on May twelfth, two thousand twenty-two. For risk factors and more details, refer to the Red Herring Prospectus. Zinda dil taazgi sirf aur lime aur cool ke saath. Alive is awesome. Delivery Limited now proposes an initial public offer of equity shares. The 100% book built offer is being offered at a price band of rupees 462 to rupees 487 per equity share. Offer opens on Wednesday, May 11, 2022. Offer closes on Friday, May 13, 2022. For risk factors and other details, please refer to the Red Herring Prospectus dated April 30, 2022, which is available on the websites of SEBI, the BRLMs and the stock exchanges. अबे चंपकलाल हर पानी की बोतल बिस्लेरी ना हो वे समझदार बिस्लेरी पीते हैं इज देर एन आइडियल एसेट एलोकेशन यू शुड बी लुकिंग एट आई नो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ ओल्ड यू आर you know how much of risk you want to take etc to the extent that entrepreneurs are heavily exposed to equity i think in their personal investments it's best if they plan carefully and if they are a bit more defensive the asset allocation broadly in investors portfolio depends on couple of things one important factor of course is age younger you are more risk you can take for compounding your savings and making it become wealth presented by idfc first bank always you first kal aaj aur kal mein desh ke har pal mein kal aaj aur kal mein desh ke har pal mein kabhi parchhai banke kabhi vishwas banke दिल में साहस का एहसास बन के उम्मीदों को सच्चाई के रंग से सजाते हैं मुश्किलें कोई हर दम साथ निभाते हैं कल आज और कल में रहते हैं देश के हर पल में रहते हैं 1956 सौ छप्पन ऐसी आज तक एल हर पल आपके साथ 
रात को कॉकरोच जम्स छोड़ जाते हैं जिनमें बच्चे इन्हें छोड़कर बीमार पड़ सकते हैं और इसीलिए लाल हिट छुपे कॉकरोच मारो बीमारियों से बचो प्रूडेंट कॉर्पोरेट एडवाइजरी सर्विस लिमिटेड An independent retail wealth management services group in India, and among the top mutual fund distributors by average assets under management and commission received, is now making a public issue of equity shares of five rupees each. The hundred percent book built offer being offered in a price band of five hundred and ninety-five to six hundred and thirty rupees opens on May tenth and closes on May twelfth, two thousand twenty-two. For risk factors and more details, refer to the red herring prospectus. Welcome back. You're watching Buy Now, Sell Now on ET Now. Let's get you breaking news. An ET report suggests that the wholesome deal uh, talks with Adani and JSW have entered the last leg. Uh, Arjit Barman from the Economic Times is joining us uh, to tell us more. Arjit, what's the latest here? Well, Alex, as you said, uh, it is indeed in the last leg, and uh, there is. Uh, since last week, what we gather is the share purchase agreement, which is also known as the SPA, that is getting drafted. So that means lawyers have already entered the room. It's uh, the, and the, and and you know when the lawyers are in, they 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 are there to dot all the i's and cross all the t's. So uh, it is a very large, from the largest. M and A in India, uh, which could be as high as ten billion dollars, two listed companies, two open offers. So therefore, a lot of detailing that needs to be done. Uh, so that's what's underway. We expect within the next fortnight there will be more clarity as to the which way the SPA is getting uh, drafted. Uh, parallelly, the commercial diligence, all the other negotiations, financing, which is a very key tenet of this particular transaction as to how will you fund uh, such a large check, is also underway. As you said, Adani, JSW, two of the serious contenders. Uh, what we can tell you is that Adani is floating a very unique structure, offshore structure, based in Dubai, managed by. His brother, who's an NRI, uh, that will be used as the vehicle for this transaction. In that vehicle, uh, other than the promoter equity, there is a chance that uh, investors from the Gulf will also put in some money, and that money, in turn, will be used as the equity against which around five billion dollars of leverage will be raised. From banks as diverse as Deutsche, Barclays, as well as Standard Chartered. So that's the Adani blueprint. JSW, of course, is using part of its own balance sheet. Uh, mind you, it has a cement business, which uh, is back of the envelope, valued at around three billion dollars, against which it is raising some money. The promoters, which is the Jindal family, is raising some money from Credit Suisse. There is a private equity consortium that's also being worked up uh, and uh, to to help them bankroll this uh, transaction. Uh, private equity players, all all marquee names like Carlyle, like CVC, like Advent, and even Oak Tree, which is a part of Brookfield. Uh, several HNIs also backing, we believe, uh, Mr. Jindal's bid. Uh, so the, both sides are finalizing the financing, uh, so that right. once the SPA is in place. They will just quickly, within a matter of 12 hours to 24 hours, announce the deal. Absolutely, because of the time sense, time, because of the time sensitivity, yeah. and the fact that these are listed stocks we're talking about. Absolutely, Arjit, a great deal, a, a great amount of detail there in uh, what you found out. Let's uh, wait for a little bit. I'm sure we'll 
touch base with you once you have more or once the deal is announced. Thanks so much for joining in. All right, now we have to slip into a very short break, but there's more on the other side, so do stay tuned. SEL Tiger TMT Rebar में ताकत बेमिसाल और इसका एडवांस्ड रिप टेक्नोलॉजी लके सीमेंट से बॉन्ड सालों साल इसे कहते हैं बॉन्ड टाइगर बॉन्ड इन दीवारों में टाइगर रहता है SEL Tiger TMT Rebar a milestone when it helps make our lives richer with love and laughter when it helps make a cleaner smarter and a more beautiful planet so that you can set off on joyous new journeys and adventures opening up vistas and windows to a vibrant new world a vision becomes a milestone when it touches millions of lives. Aditya Birla Group. Big in your life. Prudent Corporate Advisory Services Limited, an independent retail wealth management services group in India and among the top mutual fund distributors by average assets under management and commission received, is now making a public issue of equity shares of 5 rupees each. The 100% book built offer being offered in a price band of 595 to 630 rupees open